Welcome to the Norman Nick Show. I am Norman. Now, today, I just found out about a guy that I didn't even know that was that important to the to the case, but he was the bodyguard of Megan Thee Stallion. Um, apparently, his name is Justin Edison. Now, apparently, this guy played, you know, he was born five facts that you didn't know, or at least I didn't know, about Justin Edison. Here we go. Number one, the internet was on fire in the hip hop world today when Justin Edison was a no show for the DA side in court. Number two, where is the missing bodyguard? Well, according to Instagram and the bodyguard's inner circle, Justin Edison was hired as a bodyguard for a very important client and is currently in Qatar while his important client is at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Number three, Justin Edison is 33 years old, born on March 18th, 1989 in Los Angeles, California. He's six foot four inches tall, 265 pounds, and played for UCLA as a college ball player. He was undrafted and played in the indoor football league, mainly for Nebraska, according to Wikipedia, while as a bodyguard for Megan The Stallion. Number four, Nebraska Hall County had a warrant out for his arrest on March 1st, 2017 for a third degree failure to appear. Number five, Tory Lanes, according to court documents, apologized to Justin Edison about the night Megan the Stallion was shot at. Because of the shitty job with their witnesses, Kelsey Harris got amnesia and forgot key points from the previous statements helping the defense and Tory Lane's case. So we do not know who was sleeping with who and at what times. He delayed the trial a little bit to see if they could get a hold of him. The suggestion that I heard was, see if you can find him to bring him in. If you can't, then we're going to proceed. If you can find him before we're done with everything, maybe we'll let y'all speak to him before we, excuse me, before we close. Mm. So I okay. think he's for time, and I think he's going to wait till the shit is over and then pop the fuck up. Let me ask you. So, so I have a theory about why I think he's not trying to be a part of this. What you think? Because th that's not Tory's witness. Right. That is right. the witness of the prosecutor. He's the bodyguard. Remember, he came out all tough, too, when he said, yo, if if if, if Meg was with me, this wouldn't have happened. Yeah. When that's what he said. It does happen. He said, if Meg was with me, that's when we realized, wait, she wasn't with her bodyguard. Right. Why do you think this nigga has gone ghost? Or is it just bad scheduling? But he knew this trial was coming up for a long time. No, no, no. He knew. I think that um, two things. I think that he did not want to perjure himself. I think that with Kelsey going rogue, you know, everything would have been cool if everybody would have stayed on the script. Now that shit ain't going the way people thought, maybe. Obviously, I'm speculating, but maybe he felt like, bitch, I'm not going to get up there and get up in this shit show. Number two, I don't know if he would have been prepared for questions about them sleeping together. Because I would have asked. I would have asked him if he was on cocaine because there's a live video where it sounds like somebody said he's gone off a bump. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> yes, there's a video of them on live in the pool and Justin was gone off his ass. I don't know what the fuck he was on, but they're in the pool and he pulls out a gun in the pool. You haven't seen the, this bodyguard. Video? the bodyguard pulled out a gun in the pool with Megan and the people in the pool. And it sounded like they said he was gone off a bump, but I cannot verify that. But that's what it sounded like to me. And then um, he had the gun and they laughed about it. 
when Megan starts seeing some comments, she, she switched up her tempo and acted like, but we don't play around guns. You know, yeah, y'all handle that type of shit. But they actually found it funny. He got the gun like it's a phone. He got the gun on his chest. Now, this is the girl who just said she was shot. She's so damn traumatized. This is after she was allegedly shot. Yes, this is after this. And there was also, a, in that same instance, it looked, that boy was so close to her face, he could have kissed her. She said, for me, Justin, looking up at him while his girlfriend is in the back of the pool. You know, the girlfriend was supposed to be the damn dancer. The girlfriend uh, in the back of the pool scared to charge up her damn boss because, bitch, I would have lost my motherfucking job and I would have slapped that nigga. That nigga was standing over her. Look, that nigga could have kissed her in her fucking mouth. He looking down on her. She looking up at that nigga. Yeah. I, I, I definitely seen a picture where, where they're, like, wearing matching, like, a matching, some matching outfit. I'm like, fuck is that, that a like, that's how the security's giving it up now? Security. What the hell going on over here? Why? I don't know. So I don't think he was prepared for the line of questioning, and I don't think he wanted to purge himself. Those are the two reasons why I don't think that he showed the fuck up. Okay. And obviously, we're getting into speculations here, just to be very clear. But we all know Rock Nation got a horse in the race. Okay. You know I mean, all, all pun intended, right? <laughs> they want Meg. To, they want Meg, um, story to be verified, and they want Tori to go to jail. Yeah, I'm wondering how. Like, I feel like they're trying to pull some strings. I'm wondering what the fuck they're doing about this Justin dude. Because here's my theory on Justin. Now that Kelsey's like testimony like backfired on the prosecutor, mm -hmm. which I, I never heard this before, but but they're saying that Justin was heard Tori confess. Yes. There's an, there's the allegation that um the next day and this is what I don't like and let me yeah let me bring this up. Kelsey goes to the hospital and is left outside. She's wondering what's going on with her best friend and they say you know well she got glass in her foot she might be out for a year you might you gonna need to go home. They book her a flight for the next two within the next two hours. She said I need more time than that. They say okay let us know. Kelsey is down and not she didn't gave up her apartment. And came to LA because Megan said we finna get a house, get rid of the apartment. So all she got is her luggage and her purse that she didn't brought out here. It was okay for Megan, who still had a team, to send Justin to Tori's house the next day to go get her shit. But everybody wanna look at Kelsey crazy because she gave up the address for her hotel so she could get her shit. That's fucked up to me. But that's a sidebar. Anyway, Justin says that the next day after everything happened, which would have been like the thirteenth, he went to where Tori was staying to go get Megan's things that had been left in the car. Things that I felt like she could have fucking replaced. What you need out of shit for? This is bullshit. But anyway, he went to go get it. He claims, per their, you know, recount, that Tori told Justin, I shot Megan. I'm so sorry. I was wrong. Now, why the fuck would he tell him that he ain't told nobody else this shit, that he confessed to you and you ain't got it on nothing? And why you ain't whoop his ass? If you all on Instagram playing tough, yeah, and she gonna be with a nigga that ain't finna be around no niggas that shoot their feet, then you was supposed to handle that shit when you pulled up the nigga. That's what you was supposed to do. Fuck all them damn bags, nigga. What you did, but you ain't do that. You went and got them bags like a pussy little bitch, put that shit in your car, and went on about your damn business. That's what you did. It, 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 it's starting to sound like that that nigga Tory never said that to him. Yeah. And, yeah, come on now. And and that was some shit he was gonna go with. But now, yeah. if if everybody else ain't 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 lying the way they need to lie to get this conviction, why yeah. the hell would? He, because he become the new star witness. Okay. This should be the first time somebody nobody said they they seen Tory do it, right? Yeah. Now he would be the first nigga who said, "I heard Tory tell me he did it." Yeah. Wow. Uh, wow. The, the, um, did they say anything about the bribery charges possibly coming later? I don't, I don't believe so because it was denied. The judge outright denied it. Mm. Yeah, but, but, but they're trying to add it to this case in this trial. Yeah. Um, oh, you mean the, down the line? They did not say. They mm. say if, if they have future plans past this. No, they tried to add it on to now. That was Kathy that was up there talking oh, that bullshit to my first. Kathy. K Kathy mad, huh? She, she hot upset. to the fucker. Jesus Christ. Damn. Wow.
their shit. Hey, it's it's interesting that because I think the prosecutors are playing their cards. They're now all. I think they're doing these things to try to paint the image and narrative that yo, if we lose or looking like we're about to lose, yo, Tory Tory's getting away on some OJ shit. Yeah. Oh, you know what I mean? Like he he rigged the shit somehow, and um, it it. it don't really look like they're just trying to hold a fair trial. It looks like they're taking it. Look like they're taking it personal. Yeah, that, that's how it seems to me. I mean, what the hell is going on? And I think that um, they made themselves look like fools today. Uh, them and that young lady that got up there that acted like she didn't remember a damn thing today, and that police officer. You were standing right the fuck there, and you ain't never pay attention to him. Twenty or thirty minutes, you stood in between him and Kelsey, who are feet away from you. You never heard nothing. And you just went over this fucking record, and you don't know what Kelsey said. It was bullshit, and it made them look crazy. Wow. Now, completely, completely. What else happened during the day um, that uh, you feel like we should probably know? Like, like, how is everybody's demeanor? Hey, hold on. When did that whole thing with the the, the oh Tory was in? Because they're making it seem like he was alone in a in, in the elevator with a juror. Yeah. Allegedly, last week, he was on the elevator, and one of the jurors was on the elevator. So they was trying to make a deal out of it. But when we came back, she was still in the stand. She was still in the jury pool. So obviously, they kept the ass. I don't know if they're going to talk to her some more or see what the hell going on. There was another situation where a juror claimed they got to go to the doctor two days in a row at 10 o'clock a.m. That's a motherfucking lie. And who in the fuck ever got a doctor's appointment for Wednesday and or Tuesday, Wednesday at 10 o'clock at the same damn time to that whole line? So they was like, well, what you want to do about that? And they was like, well, let's just see how shit go. And we'll cross that bridge when we get there. You know, but maybe we can, can see if she can just not go see these appointments and sit here to do this shit so we can leave. Like the whole thing's about getting the fuck up out of here. And he reiterated that he hopes that this shit is done. You know, Tuesday and Wednesday, we can wrap this shit up and then go ahead and move on. So he's pushing, sound like to me, for the end of the damn week. We need to be done by the end of the week. Closing arguments by Wednesday or Thursday so that these people can go deliberate. So so right now, and prosecutors haven't made any mention of that gun being registered. Like, no. this one, I mean, I like they got a weak-ass case, though, because they do. if that, that gun was legally registered to the security guard, they would have been said it. They would have exactly. that. They're not mentioning where the gun came from, who had it. They don't even know where it supposedly was in the car at first. They don't right. know where it was found. And the gun's serial number was still intact. No scratch off, nothing. No. So why has no one traced this weapon? Or they probably did, but it's not they, helping the case. Hello? Yeah. It's not yeah. helping the case. Yeah. So they're not mentioning it. Yeah. That's how this shit sound to me. Wow. Man, this shit is crazy. Hey, I'm going to be honest with you. Tory's making a fucking... He, he, he's putting... He, he, he's he's making them look like a fool, man. Yeah. And um, I'm making themselves look like a damn fool. This case should have never made it to this point. And I think the lack of effort and preparation is because they never thought that it would. I think that they thought we can, pre we can set this nigga up in the media we can make his life a living hell in that regard, and we can continue to try to get him to take a plea. And I think they thought that they would push, 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 push until they didn't say no, and we got a trial. 